Hello, welcome to the next edition of Kevy G Specialty List. Today we're going to revisit Ponza again this season. This time it's a little bit different, not just the uh, you know the version previously. That was more of a Crimes variant. Uh, this one we're still utilizing Free Strider Lookout to get more Field of Ruin, stuff like that. But we're more in all in on the actual Destroy Your Lands type shenanigans with you know Assassin's Trophies and Cleansing Wildfires, etc. So... Uh, this is what we're trying out today. If you like land destruction, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, hit that notification to order for future videos. We're on our way to 2,000 subs. Let's get there together. Let's get into this deck list and see the deck in action. So the deck list, we have two Bone Crushers. I'm going to try four Lookouts just because it's a brand new card. Four Buzz Crushers just because it's a decent land destruction piece. Uh, four wildfires, two uh, brotherhood in, one anger in the side. Uh, it's more relevant against Phoenix and stuff like that, where you kind of want to exile your opponent's stuff. Dire strain rampage can destroy our lands. Uh, we have one deadly cover up in adjacent to our in uh, brotherhood in for sweepers main board. Two casualties of war because they're insane with Chandra's copying effect. Uh, we also of course have twenty six lands. Total of two and two and three, so seven basics to go with our eight uh, fields. Now, sideboard, we do have two Alpine Moons for Lotus Field, so that way we can make them targetable and we can actually blow them up. Pick your poison for Vein Ripper. Thought Seize, we can bring them in over th uh, Fatal Push, depending on the matchup. Go Blinks, same purpose, because uh, Fatal Push is bad against Control and Combo. We have Ezekiel's Chariot for aggressive decks. Also an alternative way to win the game. If we need to close it out quicker. Extinction Event is our choice of uh, Wrath in the main or in the side uh, with our Anger. So we have that. Two Chandra's for the control matchup. Uh, that is our deck. Let's see if this deck has what it takes in Pioneer. Or actually in Explore. Let's get into it. himself the rest takes my push field on black or uh stuck instead of on black zealot this is weird i could play din but i don't get to do anything i'm gonna field Pop the Blood Crypt. Grab a green source. Tap land. Hits me. Yeah. Another Zealot. Could play field, crack it, get a swamp. That means I have trophy up. I play tap den for next turn buzz crusher. Let's keep it flowing. Take action. You want a swamp and pass. He has no red mana left, which is pretty sweet. We do not have the ability to play Buzzcrusher next turn. Take it. Zealot. Pop the pathway. Maybe I should have just popped the swamp. Has another red. We play Den. Pop the cliffs. Failed to find. So he has three basics in his deck. Possibly some in hand. Hits me. Now he can't even really play a basic. 
We got Buzz Crusher. Mutavolt. Okay. Wait, Buzz Crusher. Pop the Mutavolt. And pass. Okay, finds another red source. Why is a harvester? What else can you honestly do this turn though? Like copter can't get past the four four. Tap land. Pop the red source. And pass. Yeah, pass. Ruse. Okay, what? Probably should have done it before combat so he doesn't get to loot, but... Opponent, what do you got? What are you discarding? Vein Ripper. Another copter and a castle. Play escape to the wilds. Hopefully, find something good. Demolition. Pop the castle. Get a red source. By the land. Pop a swamp. And pass. Find Soren. And gets to play Vein Ripper. Cruise. So he gets to attack me. He's going to stack his Ripper or his Harvester. I mean, that only does minus two, minus two. So. But it does mean I take one more point of damage. Take it. Chandra. But it on red. Sadly, I have to stack my dude. But I think I have to. Pop your attack and But am I dead? One, two. Yeah, I'm dead. Pick your poisons. Thought sees go blank. Push seems mid at best. Bone Crusher seems pretty mid. Maybe chariots. Maybe over a dire. 
I don't like that. Put that on black, say go. Hive. Yeah, what do you got? Thoughtsies? Sure. I'm not necessarily worried yet. Take my go blank. Field, pop it. Get a red source. Okay, cliffs. Banky. Is that on red? Fable. All right. I could Brotherhood in get rid of the Banky. I have to tap the black land, I think. Pop the cliffs. Grab a green source. And destroy the banky. Takes my deadly cover up, okay. Another fable. Okay, hits me. All right, 18. Play tap land. This should be interesting. So that flips. So I can pop, pop, pop. Get rid of both fables. Smacks me down to 14 now. Making a couple of treasures. And another fable. A copter, perfect. That's, that's a target, I believe, right? Yeah. So put that on, play Swamp. So land, all modes, destroy that. There. I don't think I let him loot off of land. Now, I just need to find a sweeper. Which, two are down. I can only have one left. <clears throat> so he hits me down to eight. We draw the we draw the sweeper. And pass the turn. So it makes two one ones. So we're at six. And a zealot. We need a creature. Preferably like a or through three drop. Hit the pathway. And pass. Bane Ripper. That on the stack kills the Zealot. But we died how we want to live, right? By blowing up his lands. Which was fun. Casualties of war. So blow up there, there, there. We're dead though. 
oh and one we still went out with a bang got him down to three basic swamps so let's get into the next that's a tap land we'll play our own tap land on red proving ground harvester like jun min range jun uh something something Pop the Trium. Grab a Forest. All right, pegs me down a little bit. Dread Knight. Put that on black. Wildfire on the marsh. Do we take three? And a Dread Knight. So first things first, we're tapping add two. Wait a minute. Oh, that doesn't work. Play Lookout. Pass. Bitter Triumph, okay. We're going to eight. Sweep the board. Replays the Dread Knight side. No land yet. Wait, look out. Pass. For some reason, it's tap my field. All right, that comes back. Go digging. Uh, we'll grab a citadel on black. Chandra. Uptick. Red. Green. By Dire Strain. Field for free. Pop the other one. Got it. Opponent might not want to stick around for this. But we'll bring in these. Dan down push. I don't like that. Womp. Yep, Thoughtseize. You gonna take my trophy? Or the Buzz Crusher. Go take the card advantage piece at the very end, but. Now, the real question is what am I putting the Citadel on? I think black. So I could always play this trophy. Blooming Marsh, huh? Pop the Blooming Marsh. Grab a mountain. Glissa, huh? Pop the forest. And pass. Has another forest. Nice. So we play Blood Crypt untapped. Possibly that's worth it. You can't really play an, a non basic here, but you might not have a choice. Thought seizes. What are you taking? Everything is pretty annoying. All right. Delays the land destruction. Shocks himself. Hive on. I don't think I want to reveal that I drew that. Probably just play a Blood Crypt tapped. All right, keep taking our three. Sim, you're going to keep taking one and drawing an extra card, which makes sense because you really 
when I have the card advantage. Tyvar with Galissa is kind of weird, but I do understand the, the, the Dread Knight plus the Harvester. Pretty good combo with Tyvar for a mid-range aggro pile. Plain to dust. Eats my trophy. Wants to draw a card. Okay, Basayshu. And untap. Shock myself. Play escape. Tap land on, I think, red. So we go to nine. They probably go to 11. We have seven mana to play with. We could uptick this for go blank, which seems pretty sus. Double go blank, is that worth anything? <laughs> That's almost lethal on board, so you probably have to deadly cover up. And a harvester. Okay, so we definitely need to uh, deadly cover up, which means we lose our Chandra. It's a little bit of a nuisance. But I respect it. Because there is no world, right, where I could play this, uptick it for two, and be able to wrath. So, wait a minute. Should be able to field first. Get him off red. Pick a green source, I guess. Deadly cover up. We will eat up both of our cards. We'll have to eat up the Harvester since he plays Tyvar. So we lose our stuff, which is fine. Uh, next turn, we can Casualties of War after I think we field. We did just take him off red completely here. Our opponent is slow roping us. He does not like our deck, and I don't blame him. I think the opponent has given up at magic. He has no red sources, and he's not doing anything. So I'm assuming that means we're one and one. Um... You'll know if it, you probably won't see the actual defeat or win if this ended up being if that's if we end up just winning here because I'm probably gonna edit this part out or at least from here on. So got it. Yeah, victory five and a thought sees. What are you taking here? I'm just gonna be playing a tap land, possibly forest a falling turn. Okay. And just pass the turn. Uh, so we can get a trophy going. Sun pass. Mardu. Nice. Taking my trophy now? I don't want to have your sundown pass blown up. Oh, Bone Crusher. Interesting choice. So we'll pop the pass. <laughs> so he's off white. Unless he has another white source here. Harvester. Is this the Grease Fang deck? Play Field. Lookout. This That's what this might be. It might be the Mardu Grease Fang Vampire hy Hybrid. That has been showing up in Pioneer. So he sacks it, kills my Lookout. Which is acceptable behavior. So I think I want to play a Field. Pop the Hive. Uh, grab a mountain. And kill a harvester. And pass. So he's desperately going to sack a blood token, it looks like. Yeah, so this is what this is. I figured what it was. So it's a Mardu Fang Vampire Hybrid. Thought ceases. What are you taking, Chandra? 
I mean, I'm so far away from casting that. You gonna play land at all? No, we'll just play land and pass. Okay, discarding a Kroxa. That's good for the future for him, especially since he can get to it eventually. So I think I'm going to crack this field. Get rid of the cliffs. And I want to get a swamp, right? Because I want another green source or a black source. Now, I do need to keep in mind if I ever top deck a casualties of war, I need another forest. Maybe that's the argument to get the forest now, because I am more likely to top deck a black source field. Mm hmm. So we just keep them off lands. Pop it. Keep having fun. So we're de we're decreasing our chances of drawing lands, which is actually really important. While making our colors work, but he does get a fan. He does get a part helium back, which is a problem. Nice. We're at five. That is not going to work. So we scoop it up. Maybe go blank. Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize is very hit and miss. Maybe extinction event. I don't really want to make him sack an artifact. Sounds very medium. A troph, even though it pushes, misses a lot of his best stuff. A bone crusher is kind of mediocre. Maybe a dire strain. I don't like that. Sunken Citadel on red. Pass. Next time we get to field. I assumed he had a shock. So he's probably going to take a wildfire. Oh. Takes my other thing. So we pop there. Grab a forest. Shocks himself. Bankbuster. Question is, what am I doing here? I could trophy. I think I cleansing wildfire away the mountain. So I would like to see a land here. He hits his land drop. We find a land drop. That's good. So that means we go ahead and hit the Goggle Shrine. Take him off white. We will find a mountain. So we have Krinkos. Go ahead and Cleansing Wildfire away the Hive. And pass. Duress takes my trophy. Mm hmm. Go blank. Scoops it up. Run it back. Shrine. Nazis. What do you take it? Brother's hood in. Push. All right. Uh, name red. Say go. Tap land. We play field. Pop the white source since we know he doesn't have white basics. We need a black source. Finds himself another white source. Go ahead and push it. So field, pop the white source. Grab mountain. Get rid of a fang. You have another white source. It does. It's tapped though. So fable. A land would be perfect, but we don't draw the land. So we'll go ahead and field you or go blink you. And pass. 
So that transforms. Max. Treasure is nice for him. I don't care what land I draw, I just want to land. I don't find one. Wrath is a little bored. Empty. Interesting choice and a harvester. And passes. Run it back. Wrath the board. Pass. Bang. We find an untap land finally. Buzz Crusher. Pop the advantage. Edicts me. I'm assuming tax me for four. Go blank you. Now I need green mana at some point. Otherwise I'm going to die to this fang. Ouch. You turn on the din, it hit me for lethal, but he does not. Well, we went one and two. Um, sadly, we didn't get the net positive record. Uh, I'm going to start doing it on Arena, where if you get a 2-1 at least, I'm going to do a bonus round. But, yeah, he definitely missed lethal. And we scoop it up. No green mana. Nice. So, one and two. Let's get to the wrap-up. So what did we learn this week about this deck overall? I was not really a fan of the new guy lookout. I do think it's just better probably to be in his slot to play Fable the Mirror Breaker. It can just copy a Buzz Crusher, which is actually kind of relevant a lot of the time. If you're looking for the land destruction plan to be executed efficiently. Um, notably, we did have some issues with green mana. Uh, we have two, sit four, possibly eight. 10? 10-ish? No. Less than that. 9. 9 green sources. Uh, so maybe I definitely should have prioritized in that last game. Um, more forest? Uh, definitely. But if you have any considerations at all, let me know down in the comment section. I'm going to keep trying to revisit this deck on Arena. I'm going to make a little bit of upgrades as I move along with my wild cards to this deck. And hopefully get this deck to being a competitive deck. Um, like I said, I would like to know your suggestions. Because I want to make Ponza a real thing in Pioneer. But until next time, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.